What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be checking Skyrim Anniversary Edition or should I say special edition with the latest update because Anniversary Edition um, was, was really all about the extra content so if you actually purchase this game or this DLC or however you want to call it for like $20 I think if you own a special edition already well then you are getting um, well basically extra maps extra well, not maps but extra quests um, you can do all kinds of extra stuff in the game although special edition actually is getting some stuff for free so if you own Skyrim special edition A you are getting performance boost and some graphics improvements here and there and um, also I think you can enable survival mode and also I think the fishing mechanics is actually in the game now, right? So that stuff is for free, but when it comes to like extra quests and stuff, this is something that you will have to actually pay for, right? This is the, the whole anniversary um, edition and anniversary content. Um, so let's actually focus on the performance and graphics. Well, graphics didn't, re didn't really change much, right? I mean, I've seen some uh, comparison videos and people are saying that, oh, you know, the draw distance actually changed a little bit. Um, they did move some objects around. They did change the foliage um, level of details and that kind of stuff, right? Apparently. Uh, depending on the version so um, but really like I played that game before the update and I play it now and there's not really much of a difference right so even if there's any graphics changes um, they are like minute right really really uh, small like nothing that nothing really to uh, write book about to be honest with you right <clears throat> so yeah I, I would uh, you know, really, like, what I say is that, like, graphics-wise, there's not really much of a difference. Uh, what about performance? Well, performance actually increased because, like, um, now it's actually running at 60 frames per second. It's 4K. Oh, by the way, now, important note, um, Xbox Series X is using dynamic resolution scaling now. So the game is actually running at 4K, but in the more demanding scenes when, especially when you when you actually um, fight dragons and stuff, uh, because there's a lot of alpha effects, uh, then, you know, the <clears throat> performance, to keep the performance high, the resolution drops. That's not the case on PlayStation 5, and PlayStation 5 gets uh, more severe frame rate drops because of that. But really, the dynamic resolution scaling kicks in only in this uh, very heavy scene. For the most part, this game is still 4K. Uh, it was locked to 4K before, and that's why you you did see uh, more frame rate drops on Xbox um, uh, with FPS boost or the mod, because you can actually uh, use the mod. I mean, you could use the mod mods um, to actually unlock 60 frames per second in the past. Now we don't have to do it because this game runs at 60 frames per second, 4K out of the box on Series X. Uh, I think it's still 60 on Series S, not sure about the resolution, probably 1080p. Now, um, so yeah, as you can see, the I mean, the performance is stable. Obviously, I don't uh, see any dragons around, so... Um, yeah it's i can't really test it out but like guys for the most part when you uh mm, when you explore the uh, the maps the open world uh, when you are in the dun dungeons uh, there's no frame rate drops at all i played this game uh, for a little bit and um you know started the game from scratch just to check that uh, dragon um fights as well in the past and yeah, you, you get some, you know, frame rate dips a little bit like in two or three places, but for the most part, it's locked 60 frames per second. Like I said, the, you know, like 99% of the game, it's a locked 60 frames per second game. And uh, and I must say it, it looks good. Like, I'm kind of amazed because this game is a Xbox 360 game. And it's actually amazing, you know, what does... Um, you know, uh, a little bit of uh, a bit improved lighting and resolution and frame rate does to the game. 
because obviously this is the special edition so special edition had its um, lighting improved and textures some textures improved uh, so obviously there were some changes here and there uh, but for the most part um, this game still holds up pretty well um, the draw distance is pretty dope as well you know like level of details is not too bad uh, especially foliage um, I mean if you look at up, you know, up there in the distance it's a bit empty um, and the, the interesting thing about this game is that like when you um, when you travel the world you don't necessarily see a lot of pop-in which I hate in games right especially like uh, you know um, when it's like happening right in front of your eyes right so <clears throat> let's explore a little bit here and there yeah now there's like a bigger open world section over here and it's still running at 60 frames per second uh the sky skybox actually looks cool um there you go you know big open world and still it's running well so okay, let's help these guys up out die die there we go you handle yourself well you make yourself well you could make for a decent but the shield brother an outsider, eh? Yeah, let's not join game. any fr faction for now. So, yeah, listen, you know, at the end of the day, this game still holds up pretty well. So, if you want to explore Skyrim again on these next gen systems, you're not going to be uh, disappointed because the game look runs very well. Very well. Um, looks very well as well, even for today's standard. Obviously, this is not like a, a next generation game, but um, it just. It just goes to show how timeless I think that's the correct world are you know these Bethesda games are like you know you can play them for like literally decades and you would think that these games would look bad and, and stuff right but they are not um, obviously Skyrim holds up better than the Oblivion Oblivion was actually like a launch title so of course um, <clears throat> you're not going to have the same level of D of, of graphics, but even Oblivion actually looks pretty pretty dope, right? But like we're not talking about Oblivion, we're talking about uh, Skyrim, and Skyrim looks good. Like you've got these um, alpha effects, like you've got these, you know, fog uh, and stuff in the distance. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to fight these dudes alone, not now. Yeah, this game just looks good, even despite all the years. And um, the game was released 10 years ago, can you believe it? Big open world. Yeah. Alright guys, so listen, that's the video. Uh, check Skyrim, it's in Game Pass, obviously, because Bethesda is part of Microsoft now, now so check uh, that game in game pass if you haven't really played the game yet or maybe you are thinking about going back to that game you're not re you're not going to regret it because the game looks good now it also runs good so um really really good game still and um you know i i'll be i'll be playing this game again now on xbox i used to play it on pc um but now it's a 4k 60 frames per second on xbox series x I cannot complain. Guys, thanks a lot. I uh, really appreciate it. If you like my content, please consider subscribing and supporting the channel. Share the videos if you can. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care.